What smells remind you of things? The smell of like banana bread, it reminds me of my grandma's house because she always makes banana bread. Eggs remind me of restaurants. Cheese reminds me of cheese. My friend's clothes remind me of them. Cookies remind me of my aunt. Cereal <laughs> reminds me of the morning. What musical instrument are you most like? I am like a guitar because I am loud and I really like music. Piano because I make a lot of different noises. Hmm. I am mostly like a harp. I would say the drums because I'm fun and loud. Probably the flute because I'm small and petite. Hmm. I gotta say the piano because one, I play it, and two, it has every note, and I have every note like this. Where would you be surprised to see a teddy bear? I would be surprised to see it in the middle of the road. In the pantry, sitting on my bike, in the water, <laughs> in a box. Probably in my brother's room, in a swamp, in daddy's coffee cup. Can you think of uses for a beach ball besides as a toy? A beach ball would be a pretty comfortable chair if you had stuff to keep it in one place. You could use it for a lantern. You can use it for a dress, or you could use it for like a hat if it had a bigger opening. You can take the air out and use it as a skirt. A floaty, because you can float on it in the water. Name some ways to entertain yourselves while waiting in line. Sometimes I like to sing to myself so people don't hear me. And then sometimes I like to walk in place or skip around. You can play the guitar while you're waiting in line. Read the signs on the walls or try and count the tiles on the ceiling. <laughs> Lemonade, crunchy ice, sip it once, sip it twice. Lemonade, crunchy ice, sip it once, sip it twice, turn around, touch the ground and freeze, and then whoever moves first is out. What sounds can you make without moving your lips? I can make a humming sound. You're going to be really weird. <laughs> if animals could skateboard, which would be the best at it? I think an owl, because if he can turn his head to a 360, then he can do a 360. A kangaroo and a duck. Pigs because um, it would be funny because they'd probably fall off a lot. A duck has webbed feet and it could stay on for a long time. I think a flamingo because they stand on like their legs all day, so they must have pretty good balance. And the kangaroo could stay on because it has big feet and it wouldn't, like, tiny feet is harder to skateboard with, but they can push themselves like really far. Hmm, probably a newborn pig because <laughs> They're the littlest and they can just roll really fast. What do you think would be a great first line of a song? I love you. <laughs> if you open up your soul, you'll be yourself and in control. I like to dig up worms in my backyard. Hi, hi, hello. There was a little monkey who had a monkey. If you could have a pet dinosaur, how would you train it? I would train it kind of like you would train a dolphin. I just train it to be nice. This means spin, this means jump. I would train it with a treat because it would know that like every time it did something good that it would re be rewarded. I would train it to fly because then you would get to places faster than with a car. What are some different ways people laugh? <laughs> 
Using just words, describe how to skip. I put my leg up and I jump. I put my other leg up and I jump. You so you um kind of lift up your leg and then bounce on it twice and then the other leg and bounce on it twice. You put one foot up and you s jump and then you put one foot in front of that foot that just was put out and then you do it again. You can do it really fast or really slow or you can do it really high or really low. You take one foot and you jump on it twice and then really extremely quickly you use the other foot and do the exa exact same thing. You're kind of jumping and running at the same time, but you're not like doing only one of them. You're, it's kind of like a combination together. Start walking, then lift up your knees, then you technically skip. <laughs> squish, squish, squish. Name some things that make that sound. A puddle of water when you step in it. Sponges. Pudding. It could be puddles. A bag of water when you squeeze it. Or it could be like smashing dough. A rubber ball when you step on it. Uh, rubber boots if they're wet. Mud. I guess your hair if it's really wet and you're scrunching it up. Your shoes sometimes when the floor's wet. Uh, muddles, mud puddles. <laughs> What is your favorite saying? My favorite saying is, oh my goodness. My favorite saying is that you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Hit the ground running. Now or never. What would it be like if your brain picked up TV channels? Hmm. I, th I think it would feel like tingly up in my head because there, like you'd be picking up like wave, like, like TV waves and stuff. I'd be watching all day. It would be kind of weird because I wouldn't want to watch a certain channel, but it would pick it up anyway. I would watch movies all day long. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to focus because I'd be like too entertained with like the channels going around in my head. It'd be hard to study in school because you'd be watching TV and it'd be a mess in your brain because you'd have, you'd have to be doing something and then you would be like watching TV. Like if you're trying to do chores, your mother would be like, come on, do your chores. She'd be like. What can't you build out of sand? You cannot build a giant, an actual house out of sand. You cannot build a car and you cannot build money because nobody would take it as real. A waterfall, a brick wall. A television. What are two things you would like to accomplish in your life? I would like to become a professional soccer player and buy a house. I want to accomplish soccer and like winning tons of medals. I want to go jet skiing and I want to make lots of money. Being like a famous violinist because I'm already good at it but I want to be like well known and learn lots of more songs. I would like to accomplish being a doctor because that's my dream, to be a doctor. Name something a cat would know that you do not know. They know how to jump up really high without falling off, and I would fall off if I jumped up like onto a railing. Well, a cat would know how to use a litter box and what cat food tastes like. They would know how to survive in the wild. A cat would know really how to I guess think ahead, like if it wants to jump up onto a wall really qu quick because a dog's chasing it, it would know how to do that in advance. If I don't know, how am I supposed to say it? <laughs> Name some things that you open. I usually open a soup can or a bottle to drink something. You can open a car door, you can open the trunk of a car. You can open your mouth, you can open your eyes. You can open your hands, birthday present, box. You open your eyes, your mouth, a box, cans, doors. You can open pretty much anything. <laughs> what are three things you'd like to know about your friends? They're a nice person. They're there for me. Who they hang out with and what they do. 
they know me a lot and they just care for me. I like to know if they're nice and if they're the same age as me and if they like the same things that I like.